Hey friends, today I am checking into Disney's Polynesian Village Resort. I am so excited. I'm happy I get to come back here. If you guys recall, I stayed here when the parks first reopened, and now I get to come back and show you all the cool things that actually are taking place, like the great ceremonial house construction, where the new check-in area is, and how do you get to Magic Kingdom in Epcot. So, let's go do this. And as you can see right here at the Pago Pago building is where you now officially check in for the Polynesian. And it's even where the Disney Magical Express drops off all the people coming to check in. The reason the check-in is at the Pago Pago house is because, like I said, there is a huge refurbishment happening at the Great Ceremonial House, mainly at the port au area where the monorail goes through and the check-in area. So you can actually access it there. In fact, you can't even park in front of the Great Ceremonial House. They actually literally just put all the parking closest to the TTC. And can I just point out how amazing is it that they added the little hard hats to all the tiki gods? I love all the signage for the construction here. That's adorable. But now I just want to get inside, get checked in. You could check in actually with the My Disney Experience, but I want to go in and actually talk to them and see if there's some other things that I need to know about while staying here. And it's always good to just check in and see what the do's and the don'ts are. And of course it is Christmas season, so we have lots of Christmas decorations all over the Polynesian Resort. This is the new check-in area right here. A little bit tiny, but they're making their way. Oh, they even got their little Christmas tree as well. I love it. And actually right in where the temporary check-in is, they actually have a picture of what the new Porta Crochet is actually gonna look like in front of the Polynesian. Looks very, very Polynesian-ish. Look at the little monorail peeking out the other side right there. As you can see, here is all of the transportation information. They have no monorail service going directly to the Magic Kingdom. However, you can go to the Transportation and Ticket Center and you actually you can load up there or take the ferry boat. And actually, it's a closer walk to TTC from here than it is to the Grand Ceremonial House. How funny is that? And now that I'm all checked in, let's go check out the room and then hop over to the Great Ceremonial House so then I can show you some of the cool things that are going on over there and get something to eat because I hear I might be able to get Ohana bread pudding. So I had to try that. As soon as you walk out of Pagu Pagu, they have a temperature screening tent right here. I don't know if they're using that yet, but the walkway to get to TTC is literally right there. Like I said, it is closer to get to the monorails from Pago Pago at TTC than it would have been to actually go to the Great Ceremonial House. Speaking of the monorail, there's one coming into the TTC right now. The only part of the Polynesian that's open right now is the Disney Vacation Club. And it's funny, I didn't put any special request in and I got exactly where I wanted to be. How amazing is that? I'm in the Mora building, I'm on the third floor, looking out at a lake view of the beach and the bungalows, and as you can see, this is where we are right here, and this is where the Great Ceremonial House is, and then they have all of these other things open. I know Oasis and Lava Pool and the Barefoot Pool Bar is open, and there's a couple of food spots inside, but yeah, we're just gonna explore around the resort. And here is our building. Man, I love this place. This is one of my favorite resort stays. And it was actually the first resort stay that I did once I came back on Disney property after it closed. So it's good to be back. Look at all of the lobby furniture. I love everything about this resort. I love all of the different pictures and artwork. If you noticed, inside each of the buildings or houses they actually have a little bit about the islands and a little bit of artwork too so like this is explore mora and they had one that was like pago pago and i really like that stuff that'd be cool to hang in my house i would also like those chairs in my house as well they look so comfortable don't they they're very comfortable <laughs> we're gonna go up to the third floor oh here we are Ooh, more pretty furniture I just like the way the furniture looks. It kind of reminds me of like a 80s, like, or not even 80s, maybe a 60s, 60s themed living room. What do you guys think? Let me know what you think it looks like other than Polynesian. I also love the hallways. Isn't this like majestic here? Very pretty. The light fixtures are little tiki men or tiki gods. Don't want to offend. 
I even love the little room number like plaques. Aren't they so nifty? But here's our room, 316. Why is it not working? Maybe it's not our room. Now I can take my mask off because I'm in my room and I'm gonna give you just a very quick tour of the room. If you guys wanna see a little bit more detailed tour, and I mean detailed, just watch the video and I'll link it in the description when I first came. But today I kinda of wanna focus more on like what is there to do with the Polynesian and also I wanna focus on getting something to eat and trying to get that Ohana bread pudding. This is the actual entrance way. That door straight ahead is where you actually come in and then you have one bathroom right here with a very nice stand-up shower I like these doors too always love these doors and then you got another bathroom this one has a tubby tub tub and I like the shower curtain this is really nice isn't it very fancy and then the little mermaid painting on the wall can't forget that it also has these fancy doors And then on the other side, you have a little kitchen area. Comes with a microwave, coffee maker, fridge, fully not stocked. I was not prepared. And then a little closet area. This is a very small closet compared to the ones that we've seen. But I like it. It's got a laundry basket. <laughs> Look at that. It also has one of the coolest looking beds, I can say. And six pillows. What a champ. I love this room. I love the colors. I love everything about the Polynesian. Such a great, great place. Lilo and Stitch on the little bed right here. And we can't forget the view. Oh boy, this is beautiful. Just look at this view. We have the Grand Floridian. We have the Polynesian bungalows. And then we have Cinderella's castle right there in the middle. You got Space Mountain, the Contemporary. And remember I was telling you about TTC? It's literally right there. As you can see the monorail driving by and the ferry boat in front of it. That's awesome. It also has my number one ranked patio furniture. These chairs are so comfortable. And it's a pretty big patio, like you know what I mean? It's pretty large. The carpet also is another thing I like a lot. The couch pulls out. So you can have some extra sleeping space there. You can also probably sleep under there, there. And I mean, if you're small enough, yeah. But like I said, I wasn't gonna go into like a full room tour. I wanna head on over to the great ceremonial house to get something to drink, something to eat, and also to do a little shopping because they have a hat. They have a hat I need to get. So we're gonna head over there. This is the actual Mora building we're looking at from the outside. I have my room, I think it's right there. And you can literally see TTC and also all the bungalows. And right now, you can actually just go tour a bungalow if you wanted to. Maybe we'll take a peek see in once we walk back, but I'm gonna walk along the beach side because it's a nice day. I'm loving hearing the Christmas music here too puts me in such an amazing spirit you guys know it's my birthday month too like that makes it even better so if you guys ever wonder why I like Christmas so much it's also my birthday look at this Meli Kaliki Maka And as you may or may not know, Ohana is not open yet. Trader Sam's is not open yet. We have Tambu Lounge. We have Captain Cook's. We have Kona, the Barefoot Bar. And that's about it for food. And I'm gonna try to get into Kona. Like, I wanna see if I can actually get Ohana bread pudding there. Somebody, I think it was Disney Food Blog, said that they are serving small batches of it. So I'm like, I'm up to the test. I'm staying here. Might as well do it. Not gonna force me. But if I don't, then I'm going to go to Captain Cook's and get some meatballs with rice because they are delicious there. Of course, the pineapple stand is open, so maybe that's a little dessert afterwards. Oh, wait, no, I'm getting bread pudding or maybe I'm not getting bread pudding. That's a maybe. And during the refurbishment, the great ceremonial house will be closed at 10 p.m. So you can't come in here after 10 o'clock. It smells so amazing. I love it. I love it so much. 
here is a look at actually all of the food and beverage offerings and then even some recreation offerings they're still doing movie under the stars at eight o'clock and then they have all the pool hours it looks like the latest thing open though is uh the tambu lounge on friday and saturday it's open till 11 o'clock if you watched our holiday monorail bar crawl you know that we stopped here to check out the christmas tree but i want to show you guys again because maybe some of you haven't watched that video if you haven't you definitely should because that's a great time but they have a little christmas tree it's not a little one it's just not a big big one like the grand floridian or wilderness lodge but it's still a very pretty tree Molly Kaliki Maka is the thing to see on a bright Hawaiian Christmas day. They got a pineapple in the tree. It is beautiful though, isn't it? How'd you like my song too? I had a little twist onto it. I know, no, I know. Don't quit my day job. And this is the area that they have closed down for the refurbishment. This is where you would actually usually come in to check in. And above us is the monorail station. Everything's just shut down over here though. I don't even think you can get a lay. You also might remember earlier I said I needed to do some shopping because they had a hat here. And I think I'm gonna get that now before we get dinner. Right here inside of the boutique where they actually have some very festive tiki gods. I think they have a tiki fedora. There it is, the Tiki Fedora. Oh, what do you think? I gotta get it, right? That's awesome. Oh boy. And here it is. What do you guys think? I love it. This is perfect. Makes me so happy. So this is like my official Polynesian hat. I've got a winter hat, I got a summertime hat, I got a bowler hat, I got a fedora, I got all the good hats. Now that I have my hat, let's get up to Kona and see about some bread pudding. One thing I surely miss though is Ohana. Usually this place would be packed waiting for people to get in there. One of my favorite restaurants on Walt Disney World property. Now I'm sat at my table. I immediately decided on a Bud Light and some Hawaiian rolls. The menu is a little different and they're actually running some specials. Like we talked about the bread pudding special. It's the pineapple bread pudding that they would serve at Ohana. They actually are making it here. It's not on the menu. And then also they have a Polynesian New York strip steak. Uh, and I'm excited because that's not on the menu. So I said, I'll take that as well. I don't know what it looks like or anything like that. There's no like literature on it. So we're just going with the flow of things. These rolls are amazing. Very fluffy, very good. I like them a lot. The Kona Press Pot Coffee here is one of the best coffees I've ever had. And their macadamia nut pancakes. I wish I can come back here for breakfast. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to tomorrow morning, but Man, that would be really good. Oh boy. Yeah. Oh my lord, is that mine? What? That is gigantic, look at it. Thank you. Wow, I was not expecting this at all. That steak looks unbelievable. A little teriyaki, a little pineapple. This is something else right here. I can't wait to cut into it. A little broccolini, a little mashed potatoes. Maybe I'll start right here, yeah. Oh wow. My heart be still. First official bite. It is so amazing, guys. The teriyaki and the pineapple, it's just, it just goes together so good. I never thought pineapple, teriyaki sauce, steak, and mashed potatoes would mix well, but it does. It does. Another thing that kind of surprises me is I asked how much this was because it wasn't on the menu So they just told me the special and I said, okay, and uh, it's only $40 Which is like an amazing price at Disney because normally like a strip steak or uh, a Special, you know meal would probably be like 50 60 dollars in a restaurant like this So I'm happy with the size the taste and the price Oh boy There it is Oh, I am so excited to do this. Are you ready? Oh boy. <laughs> Much too good. Oh boy, I've been craving this. It's just so amazing, guys. Oh, absolutely delicious. 
if I remember right, when I brought my mom and sister here uh, at Ohana, not Kona, this was like the thing they liked the most. It is just so delicious. I mean, I love bread pudding. Add a little caramel, ice cream, and pineapple to it, sold. That bread pudding did not stand a chance. So, so good. Now I feel stuffed. Oh boy. Oh boy. But we need to move along. And as we actually make our way out, I see they have like a fancy display now for the bread pudding. And they have this other dessert here too. Man, that was just so delicious. I would have went with that no matter what, but this looks interesting. Honestly, that was very delicious. I've never actually had dinner at Kona before, only breakfast, and uh, I really liked it. Now, we're gonna explore some of the other things that they have going on, even the Tambu Lounge, because, you know, you can't actually go to Trader Sam's, so you need a place to be able to relax, and Tambu Lounge has always been a good spot. Just a little overshadowed by Trader Sam's, what can you say? because the only other place to get mixed drinks is the pool bar they added additional seating inside the tambu lounge including the back of ohana you can actually come over here and uh, sit where you would normally sit and get a great firework view and uh, enjoy some drinks and also if you take a look down there you can see a little bit of moana and maui and on the carpet too do you see moana right there on the rug that's really nifty isn't it it's getting a little bit dark out, so we might stop back to get a drink at Tambu. I just want to give you a little bit more of a tour. Know what I'm saying? Now we're going to go back outside, and you notice they lit all the fires. I love it. I love all the fires lit. And we're going to go explore around the other pool, Oasis, I think it is, and just see if their pool bar is open. I don't know if it is or not. No, it doesn't look like Oasis is open. Oh, but I like how they're doing the 12 days of Christmas out here by the pool. Regardless, it's a really cool spot to hang out just because of the pool and they also have uh, ping pong. I don't want to show you the pool because there's family swimming in it, but it's a nice pool. The other pool is definitely a lot better. Another cool thing a lot of people don't realize is there is actual grills at the Disney World resorts. Like you look over here, they have a nice little grilling area. Two different grills and you can just come make yourself dinner. You know, it's very fancy, a little dark. I don't know if you can see them. But they're nice grills and they're clean and just a really nice area right here. One of these days, I want to have a cookout at Disney and invite all my friends and we'll have hot dogs and hamburgers, Bud Lights and baked beans, baked beans and Bud Light. But for now, I'm going to drop my hat off back in the room and then we're going to go see if we can catch some fireworks. Well, they're not like really fireworks. All they are is firework blasts that happen every 15 minutes as they change the holiday projections on the castle. Still, it's very fun to see some fireworks happening from the Polynesian. And right there is the castle from our balcony. So this is like a firework view. And we're going to see if we can catch any of those firework bursts every 15 minutes they go off. That was surprisingly really good. It was just one push, but still really cool to see fireworks from the Polynesian or just fireworks in the Magic Kingdom in general. So now I think I'm gonna run down to the bungalows, give you a little tour of inside one of those very expensive bungalows and also see if I could time it right and see if we can catch another firework burst from their balcony. That's the way. I hope we can time this out right. If so, it's gonna be kind of beautiful because then I'm getting a firework view from the bungalows for free. Oh boy, this is gonna be fun. <laughs> oh, that was loud. Look at Magic Kingdom is directly behind that bungalow right there. This is so nifty. I love it, it's so beautiful over here. Wow. And here it is, so exciting. This place has three bedrooms, or two? Two bedrooms. <laughs> two bedrooms. Wow, that was seriously the doorbell. Crazy. Ooh, and this guy who's always out front of the Polynesian. I like that. And then take a look at the bathrooms in here. Wow. This is something else. 
I mean, honestly, and then that view. Look at it, it's all of TTC over there. And then the master bath. And then right on the other side is a balcony. Look at these little swings. Oh, wow. The ferry boat over there. This is much too good. Holy moly, it's a hot tub. <laughs> wow, I am shocked. But wait a second, I think we timed this right. Look, you can just watch the boats coming in and out. I would be doing this all day, all day. Look at all the happy people going into the Magic Kingdom. Hi guys, hi, hello everyone. Look at that. We timed that perfectly. Wasn't that beautiful? Just, you know, one little spark. One little spark. Now we'll go back in and take a look at the kitchen area. Wow, this is just so amazing. I know I say wow a lot, but I love the living room, the table. This is just, this is fancy. Oh, and then we didn't show you the last room over here. It's so nice. The coolest thing though is right here in the living room, they have the water pageant right there. Kind of like on your little day bed spot. I absolutely love this. Now, the other bedroom isn't like a master bedroom. It doesn't have a bathroom. It has one on the side here, but look at how fancy the doors are. Look at that. Oh, wow. And I love that. That's really awesome. Very cool. And then another little spot over here. I like it a lot. That was so cool, isn't it? Now, I'm sorry if I feel a little rushed when I go through there because it's an open house. There's families that actually want to check out the spot. So I'm always like uh, giving everyone the right away. So if there is a family wants to go, they'll go before me. I'll wait, no problem. Um, and I just want to get in do it real quick just to give you guys a look of it. It's a really nice room. That goes for two to $3,000 a night, but unbelievable. Absolutely one of my favorites. It is so peaceful out here too. There is nobody around. <sighs> I love nights like this. And with that, I think I am done here. I'm just so happy that I'm able to stay here. It is so fun just exploring the resorts and also showing you guys like some of the cool rooms and like the bungalows or the three bedroom villa at the Grand Floridian. I just like showing you some of these things that you wouldn't be able to see unless you came down here and visit it. And right now it's not, t it's, you know, it's hard for people to get here. So thank you to Ben and Jade, Disney on the Rag on Instagram. They're the ones that actually gave me this room tonight. And uh, I'm sorry I'm not doing the sunrises. Uh, I just figured this one I was going to focus more on like nighttime activities. And I wanted to show you all the like big grand villas. And uh, I hope you enjoyed the video. I enjoyed making it. So, we'll see you next time. Good night. Oh. Well, here it is, another Christmas time. And I must agree with my grandchildren, it's just about the neatest time of the year. One of the nicest things about the holiday season is exchanging greetings with our many friends.